Hello, it's me again. I finished with my ladies' meeting at um, Curly Society, District Curly Society meeting. I thought I would listen to the news. Would you like to hear the news? This is the news from Ontario, Canada, Ottawa. It might be the Kingston Channel or the Belleville one. <laughs> Anyway, it's 2 o'clock news, cbc.ca. Gotta have an advertisement. Super computers, Snoopy and Great Big Dragon. So with the help of some tag youngsters, Florence Henderson's computing's in the bank. The Flow Club, the Flow Club. Then we got Sparks, the Great Big Cheer for the Flow Club. Sunday afternoon at 1, 1.30 in Newfoundland, 4 Pacific. Stop playing around and get to work. Unless, of course, playing is working. DMTO looks at the importance of play. Is all this playing around really working? That and music from Duplex, a Vancouver band where adults make music with kids. DMTO, after the news. DMTO is definitely not the opera. This is CBC News. Here we go. Let's see what happened today. I'm Paul Tatter. Some homes in BC are up to their doorknobs in flood water. About 300 families have been forced from their homes on Vancouver Island. BC More than is British Columbia. Millimeters of rain hit the region in the last 24 hours and forced two rivers out of their banks. State of emergency has been declared. Frederic Arnaud has more from Duncan, BC. The good news is that the water is receding, and that's mainly uh, due because of the work done by the emergency crews. Uh, they run uh, pumps during uh, through all through the night and uh, into this morning. So uh, there's uh, that's been done, of course, in order to combat the massive flooding that prompted the communities of uh, North Coalition and Duncan to declare the state of uh, emergency. So so far, the water levels are are dropping and the dikes are holding so that's uh, pretty good news uh, let me remind you that at the height at the height of the flooding uh, friday morning about uh, 300 houses and streets uh, were underwater so so far a number of uh, residents were permitted to return home uh, friday night uh, because evacuation orders were lifted for some of them but still around 100 properties uh, remain under evacuation that's the CBC's Frederic Garneau. To Ottawa now, where a federal court judge has ordered that a young woman who went AWOL from the U.S. Army should get a new refugee hearing after being turned down the first time. The judge said the refugee adjudicator allowed personal opinion to color his decision to deny protection to Bethany Smith. She says she received death threats after her fellow soldiers found out she's a lesbian. Evan Dyer reports. Bethany Smith went AWOL from Fort Campbell, Kentucky in 2007 and headed straight for the Canadian border. She says her life on the base had been one of daily harassment since fellow soldiers saw her at a local mall holding hands with another woman. I would walk into the motor pool and they'd start laughing, joking, chuckling, and the soldier would pick me up and shake me around and throw me and they would all just laugh with him like it was one big joke. Smith says notes on her door scared her even more, threatening to suffocate or beat her to death while she slept. But a Canadian refugee adjudicator ruled that those weren't sufficient grounds to offer her protection in Canada. He ruled that the fact that another gay soldier at the same base had been beaten to death in bed was an isolated incident. Yesterday, a federal court judge wrote a harsh rebuke of that adjudicator, calling his judgment skewed and accusing him of ignoring some facts and inventing others. Jamie Liu is Smith's lawyer. He took him to task and said, listen, this is someone's life you're dealing with and you need to look carefully at everything that was put before you and people can't use their own opinions and their own biases in making a decision. Smith's case will now go back to the refugee board where she could be rejected again. Evan Dyer, CBC News, Ottawa. The spiritual leaders of the Roman Catholic and Anglican churches have agreed to work on improving their relationship. They talked in Rome today, their first meeting since Pope Benedict announced he was setting up a special section within the Roman Catholic Church for disenchanted Anglicans. After the meeting, the Archbishop of Canterbury gave a positive assessment of his talks with the Pope. I think it was just as much as I could have hoped. I was able to express some of the concerns that many Anglicans feel about the way that the Constitution was handled in those bits. We made public, but we moved on from there to talk about positive matters of cooperation, and he was extremely enthusiastic about the next stage of official dialogue between our two churches. That's exactly.
Anglican Archbishop Rowan Williams. Hamas says it has reached an agreement with other militant groups in Gaza to stop firing rockets at southern Israel. Israel carried out a wide-ranging military offensive in Gaza last December to stop daily rocket fire. Hamas made a commitment to stop firing rockets into Israel after the fighting ended, but sporadic attacks from other militant groups persisted. The Hamas interior minister says all militant factions have now agreed to a ceasefire. He says the agreement is designed to stop Israeli retaliation attacks to provide stability for people in Gaza. And that's the CBC News. I'm Paul Tanich. You're listening to CBC Radio for Eastern Ontario, and here is the updated weather for Kingston, Belleville, and Quinty. Cloudy with sunny periods this afternoon with daytime highs of 9 degrees. Mostly clear skies for Kingston overnight, while Belleville will see cloudy periods. The whole region will see fog overnight and lows around the freezing mark. And for Sunday, mostly sunny with a high of 9. And that's the weather at this hour from Environment Canada. You're listening to CBC Radio 1, 107.5 in Kingston. Welcome to Definitely Not the Opera, where we've hit the streets in search of a little fun. Okay, so that was the Canadian news. <clears throat> I'm not exactly sure what's happened in Vancouver and why it's up to, it was covering 30 houses and it's up to doorknobs. I don't know. Vancouver is on, I don't know if you know geography for Canada or not, but Vancouver is on the west coast, so it's right above Washington, Washington State. You know, the Cali there's, there's California that goes down to Mexico, and then the, above California is Oregon and Washington, and then right above Washington, that's British Columbia, which is as big as all of that down in Mexico. <coughs> and the bottom corner of British Columbia there's an island, which is Vancouver Island, and on the mainland is Vancouver. So it's right across the, the from Seattle, Washington. I believe I've got my geography correct. <clears throat> what was the other thing on there? <coughs> this thing about Hamas and about Israel, and <clears throat> I have no respect for any of them. I mean, jeepers any of them. They're all, they're all horrible. You know, bulldozing people's houses because somebody throws rocks at you. And the other side, you know, coming in and blowing each other up. And, and then the other ones are terrorizing everyone, saying they want to kill all of Israel. You know, all three of them, they're all a mess. Anyway, that's just my opinion. I'm going to stay over here where it's nice and safe and can Hopefully it's always nice and safe. That reminds me of a song. Shall I sing a song for you? They're rioting in Africa. La 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 la. They're starving in Spain. La 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 la. There's hurricanes in Florida. La 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 la. And Texas. Texas needs rain. The whole world is festering with unhappy souls. The French hate the Germans. The Germans hate the Poles. South Africans hate Yugoslav. La 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 la. The French hate the Dutch. And I Kingston Trio. The Kingston Trio was a band in the 50s and maybe even the early 60s. <coughs> and I always liked them. When I was in school and people would say, who's your favorite band? And I would say the Kingston Trio. And other people were all saying the Beatles and the Monkees and the, you know, all those people. <sighs> I 
like that song. Okay, goodbye.